Hello. Not far from Selby, just over 12 miles from York and the Minster, Caywood Castle sits within Caywood Village beside the River Ouse in North Yorkshire. What we see today are a gatehouse and an attached domestic range, buildings that survive of a fortified medieval palace that was once the main residence of the Archbishops of York. King Athelstan had built an earlier fortification on the site in the 10th century. That was taken over by the Archbishops of York in the 12th century, rebuilt in the 13th century and subsequently extended. Known as Caywood Castle, it played host to several royal visitors on their travels in the north of England. John Kemp, who was Archbishop of York for 26 years before he was promoted to Canterbury, added the gatehouse in the early 15th century in cream-coloured magnesian limestone famous for its durability from a nearby quarry at Huddleston. From 1385 to 1465, Huddleston Quarry was leased by the Dean and Chapter of York Minster, who made extensive use of its material. The quarry also supplied stone for the Royal Palace at Sheen, Henry VII's Lady Chapel at Westminster Abbey, King's College Cambridge and Eton College. It ceased production around 1900 and after landscaping it's now home to riding stables. When George Neville, youngest son of the Earl of Salisbury, was appointed Archbishop of York in 1465, he celebrated with what became known as the Great Feast of Caywood. Antiquarian John Leyland, among other contemporary chroniclers, recorded a menu that included more than 100 oxen, 2,000 pigs, 400 swans, 100 peacock, 1,000 capons and 4,000 venison pasties, all washed down with 25,000 gallons of wine and 75,000 gallons of ale. Among the guests was Richard, Duke of Gloucester, the future Richard III. Neville's arms are depicted in stained glass in Holy Trinity Church Goodrum Gate in York. Thomas Wolsey was installed as Archbishop of York in 1514, but his first visit to Caywood didn't take place until 1530, after his failure to secure Henry VIII's divorce from Catherine of Aragon and his dismissal from his role as Lord Chancellor and the loss of Hampton Court along with his other property. Wolsey began repairs to Caywood, which had been neglected in his absence, but his stay here was brief. It was at Caywood he was arrested, charged with treason by Henry Percy, Earl of Northumberland, and ordered to London to stand trial. He fell ill on the journey south and died at Leicester. Wolsey was buried in the church of Leicester Abbey, possibly in the Lady Chapel, but the exact location has so far never been identified. The remains of Leicester Abbey are now in Abbey Park. An ornate tomb commissioned by Wolsey from Italian Renaissance sculptor Benedetto da Rovenzano was never completed. Four angels intended as part of its decoration miraculously survive somehow and are now in the collection of the Victoria and Albert Museum. A black marble sarcophagus centrepiece remained unused until it was called upon 275 years later for the interment of Admiral Lord Nelson in St Paul's Cathedral. Beneath a large segmental arch in the medieval gatehouse of Caywood, there are two entrances. A vaulted carriage entrance with a narrower pedestrian entrance alongside. Both of these entrances have four centred arches, characteristic of perpendicular Gothic architecture. Below a canted oriel window there is a frieze of heraldic shields belonging to former Archbishops of York. Those featuring a cardinal's hat document Archbishop John Kemp's pride at being appointed a cardinal in 1539. A stair turret 
opens onto a flat roof which is concealed behind a battlemented parapet. Another feature typical of perpendicular Gothic architecture. In the Civil War, Kaywood was initially garrisoned by the Royalists. The castle changed hands three times during the conflict. When the Parliamentarians were in control, it was used to house prisoners. At the end of the Civil War, Kaywood, along with other castles in the area, was largely demolished. Much of its stone was recycled in local village houses, leaving just the three-storey gatehouse and the attached range. The Archbishops of York held local courts in the gatehouse afterwards, and during the Second World War it served as a base for the local Home Guard. When the Landmark Trust acquired the gatehouse in 1985, the linked range was being used as a barn. Both buildings have since been carefully restored and the gatehouse sympathetically converted to provide holiday accommodation. And next time, I'm going to take a look at a Thameside house that features biblical quotes. If you've enjoyed this video, hit the like and subscribe buttons and click on the notification bell to be informed when the next video is available. Or you can subscribe by clicking on the rose window over my shoulder.